Okay, question 17, the final question. So, a buggy is pulling a roller skater in a straight line along a horizontal road by means of a connecting rope as shown. The combined mass uh, of the buggy and the driver is 410 kilograms. A driving force of 300 newtons and the total resistance force of 140 newtons acts on the buggy. The mass of the roller skater is 72 kilograms. A total resistance force of R newtons acts on the roller skater. The buggy and the roller skater have an acceleration of 0.2 meters per second squared. Part A wants us to find R. Okay, so we're going to need um, good old force is mass times acceleration. Now, for this part of the question, at least, we can think of the buggy and the roller skater as one thing. So the total mass is 410 add 72 which is 482 kilograms. Now we know that there is a driving force of 300 newtons. We know there's a resistance force of 140 newtons. We know that the roller skater experiences a resistance force of R newtons. So we can say that the driving force, so 300 minus the two resistant forces, so minus 140 minus R is equal to the mass 482 times the acceleration 0 0.2. So that's going to give us 160 minus R is equal to uh, 96.4 If we take away the 96.4 and add the R we get that R is 63.6 Newtons A part 2 wants us to find the tension in the rope. So, we now know that the resistant force on the roller skater is 63.6 newtons. Now as far as the roller skater is concerned, tension is the driving force. So, we know that and the mass of the roller skater is 72. We know her acceleration. So we can say then that tension minus the resistant force, so minus 63.6, is equal to the driving force. So mass times acceleration. So 72 times 0 0.2. So T minus 63.6 is equal to 14.4 um, Add the 63.6 we get T is 78 Newtons Cool Part B wants us to state a necessary assumption that we have made. So, I would say there's a few 
we've assumed that the rope is taut, uh, we've assumed that it is inextensible, we've assumed actually that it has no mass because we only had the mass of the buggy and the mass of the roller skater and I guess the other one is that we have assumed that the rope is parallel to the horizontal so there's no angle between the rope and the horizontal. Okay, part C1 is a nice five marker. So the buggy, uh, sorry, the roller skater releases the rope at point A uh, when her speed reaches uh, six meters per second. She continues to move forward, experiencing the same resistance forces. The driver notices a change in motion of the buggy and brings it to rest at a distance of 20 meters from A. Uh, we want to determine whether the roller skater will stop before reaching the stationary buggy. Fully justify your answer. Okay, so let's work out then what we know about the roller skater. So she releases the rope when her speed is 6 meters per second. So her initial speed is 6. Now we want her to stop. So her final velocity is v, uh, 0. So v is equal to 0. Now we know her mass and we know the resistant force acting upon her. So we can work out her deceleration. So again, force is mass times acceleration. So acceleration is force over mass. Now the resistance force acting on her is, uh, well it's going to be negative because it's causing her to slow down. So it's minus 63.6 over 72. Now that is going to give us minus 0.883. So we now also know the acceleration. Now what is it we're trying to work out? We want her displacement from A. So we want S. So it's so that. Let's go and see which one we want. So this is the guy that we want. There's no T in it, which is good because we don't know T. So we do know V, we do know U, we do know A, and we want S. So using this, we get 0 is equal to 6 squared minus 2 times uh, 0.883 S. So 2 times 0.883 S is equal to 36. Therefore, S is equal to 36 over 2 times 0.883. Now that gives us um, 20.39 meters. Now 20.39 meters is greater than 20 meters. So no, she doesn't stop. 
default reaching the buggy go okay and then the final part wants us to explain the change of motion that the driver noticed so when the roller skater lets go of the rope there is now no longer any tension pulling backwards on the buggy so when the rope is released there is no longer tension uh, acting on the buggy so without tension Uh, there is less resistance, which means a higher resultant force now remember. Force is mass times acceleration. So if the force increases, the mass can't increase, so the acceleration would increase. So an increase in force means an increase in acceleration cool okay guys that's paper two done so hopefully you're finding these useful uh on to paper three then i guess which remember is linked down below